Hi, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading. My name is Edgar Mendez. Sorry, um, I seem to get really giggly all of a sudden. My name is Edgar Mendez. I want to thank you for being here. Um, today's reading is a very special reading. I'm actually very happy I did this topic. It's all about what do you need to know most and kind of get guidance. And I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I do so appreciate it. Thank you for all the likes and comments. I also have services open if you're interested and you can check out any of those services that you want. Um, but let's take a look here. Uh, yeah, Capricorn, what, does, uh, what is this about? Let's see, Manager and Kwanian St. Germain, can you tell me, what does Capricorn need to know? Um, what is this about the tower and the Ace of Swords? So this is a situation that has crumbled very, like, abruptly. You never gained clarity with the Ace of Swords in the reverse. That's actually what you want. And you've been looking at things and trying to find that clarity, and you've not been able to find it. And I actually find that very interesting. The so Hangman is all about looking at things from a different perspective. But I feel the way you're trying to look at it, it's not helping you gain the perspective that you wish for, that you're seeking, and that you actually desire for yourself. Um, one of the things I feel is skewing your perception is your friends. Um, it could be people you've told, could be family members, but there are people in your life that have you've told about, that you've given your, you know, when we vent to friends and when we are talking about stuff and, you know, they kind of agree with us. I actually don't do this, which is very funny, by the way. I don't know how they feel about it, but I am not that person. I always give them the truth. But, you know, often, right, people disagree with you, don't really second the fact check, you know, all that stuff. And I feel like you did this to someone, like someone you actually trust, someone you believe in or someone that you have faith in. And they never gave you a perspective that you needed. I think there's something you're missing. And I honestly want to say it might actually be with maybe some of your own energy or some of your own choices. But we'll see. I'm going to like throw this at you right away. But it does feel like that. You do want clarity from a situation that, come, that came crumbling down. You've not gained it, though you've looked hard. So that's actually what we're talking about. That's kind of interesting. These topics have been like really crazy though. Like just been crazy, crazy, crazy. So can you tell me, um, let's see, uh, St. Germain, uh, what is, what is this about? Like what does Capricorn need to know most? Beautiful. There we go. What does Capricorn need to know most? Alrighty, St. Germain, we have the Ace of Pentacles. One of the things that you do need to know most, and I think that might be what's keeping you from gaining clarity, is that there are plenty of other options, plenty of other choices out there. With the Eight of Cups in reverse, you do need to walk away from this. You don't want to. I also feel that because you may have, okay, I'm going to give you an example. Let's say this is like a job, right? Let's say you um, got another job, you didn't like it, and you went back to your old one, even though you know you don't want to be there. Yeah, you walked back, right? You keep going back. And the message here is to keep moving forward. I also feel like most, some of these are not walking away, but I think it's the first one. That's what it feels like to me the most, where you're not, you're walking back because it's not a good enough opportunity. I think most of these is love, but you, you decide. But it's something like that, right? And the message here is to not, not put yourself through that. Oh, sorry. It hurts. Hurts to say that. Now uh, we have the five of pentacles coming through. We also have the Six of Wands as well. I feel here with the Five of Pentacles and the Six of Wands at play, um, you do need to leave this behind, but all the other opportunities that you're getting are not in alignment with what you want. You do have a vibrational issue, which is very interesting. Your vibration isn't at its best, which is what's kind of um, drawing towards you situations that you don't necessarily want. Um, I uh, I would advise, like, you know, um, a high... Um, vibrational modality. I usually use guided meditations personally. That gets me there. Um, I use my contracts a lot. I haven't done that. I'm going to do those today. Um, but whatever yours is, whatever you do, um, you do want to practice that. I recommend um, maybe some something that is in the form of meditation. I, I like purposeful meditation personally. It's, it's my thing, but you can just meditate, I suppose. But it is key. With the Six of Wands and its reverse here, I feel here you're not really seeing the benefit of why you've had to go through what you went through, which is part of the problem. I have always used the silver lining to make it through. You can as well, but I think that's going to be difficult for you, especially at your vibration. You don't see it. You can only see it higher, right? Um, I know it's going to be tricky, I, but I know you can do it. We have the, sorry, King of Pentacles. I thought it was going to be the Queen. Um, the King of Pentacles coming out. Um, I feel here with the King of Pentacles as well is that you're relying a little bit too much on your masculine energy. Um, it's so easy in this world to do that. Not very beneficial for the spiritual community. And we also have the Eight of Cups coming out in reverse, which we knew it would. Uh, we also have Temperance. The message here is to not take the very first opportunity you get. So let's say this is job related. The very first job you, you offer you get, you should really trust your heart. If it's good, then it's good. If it's not, you know it's not for you, don't take it. Often when we are manifesting and we're working with universe, the universe will just throw stuff at you 
and it asks, you know, is it this? Is it this? Is this? And the first time you say yes, you stop manifesting because you said yes. You are you, you're agreeing to it. So be aware of that. I think you may be having that issue, especially if this has happened multiple times. Let's say this is an ex you keep going back to and you keep trying to date someone better for yourself. They're not right for you and you keep going back to the ex. Yeah, this is the issue. You got to break that. But I feel like you need to make sure you're being um, uh, checking in with the self and trusting your heart more before you take it. And don't take what's right in front of you um, and don't take from a place of lack. And I think that you would actually do really well. So there's the five of pentacles here. But my poverty contract that I have, I think that would be very helpful for you. We have the six of swords coming out as well uh, with temperance. Uh, this path, sorry, hmm, I want to say it, this path that you're on, it takes time. Yeah, um, it always did. And I really, really, really want to register to you with the six of swords here and temperance that it's going to take time for you to to move towards a destination you want. Um, when we try to rush, doesn't work. I think you may have that issue. And they're giving me a car imagery where we kind of pump the gas and we rush and then lo and behold, it car breaks down. Well, I guess, I'm not saying you had it coming, but that it's, it's the kind of thing that happens, right? And that's kind of where your message is. Let's see, what else do they need to know most? Uh, what else does Capricorn need to know most right now? Let's see. Um, ooh, sorry, it's this one. We have meditation. Yeah, I I already knew. Uh, sorry, it's sorry. It's, I got the wrong card. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's see. Well, meditation came out, but I will do this one. This is funny. Um, it's, it's funny that this card is the one that came out. We have. Um, mindful wisdom, create inner harmony. Um, yes, through meditation, but there is a high modality, like something that you're using that helps pick your vibration up. Um, one of the things that they're bringing up is the sound waves uh, that people use, those wavelengths. I would actually ask yourself, what's the one I should listen to? Ask your guides, right? Ask spirit. But it's not the only thing on uh, what mindful uh, wisdom, what has worked for you in the past and keep practicing that. I, I remember when I used to do this and I'm real with you. Um, I used to kind of like use something once and then stop using it. Don't be that person. If it works, keep using it, right? Um, keep practicing it. And that's key. We have channel your knowledge as well. I would actually do some creative writing um, that would help. I think you may need to process some of your anger, your fear, your resentment onto paper. All right. We have here align your universe, navigate distractions. This is actually one of the most interesting thing. Um, how do you cope and handle the distractions in your life? But it's not the only thing. One second. How are you going to keep yourself on the right path? And this is actually key. It's kind of reminding you of what Gem Goddess I said. I actually really loved it. Um, where she said the best um, boundaries are the one that keep us in place. What are your boundaries or what, what's keeping you on, on the right path right now? Stick to that, right? Stick to that. Let's see. We have here, um, sorry, channel your knowledge again, the creative writing. I feel creative writing is going to be key for you. Maybe poems. I know it's an odd thing to say. I know that's like crazy, but like poems, um, we often look at those things and they say they're meaningless or painting. I think it's like, oh, it's not helping. I promise you it's doing way more good than it looks like. Um, and it, you, you, you move through a lot, by the way. And I've, um, I felt that recently as well. We have energy signature. The past is in the present. Know that your past, your past hurts, past pains are still reverberating in your present day and they affect your future because your present, um, your future is made in the present and the choices you're making are based on how you feel, right? Based on what energy you have, based on how healed you are. So know that healing yourself um, and uh, practicing I want to say daily healing, daily cleansing, daily uh, alignment is going to be one of the best things for you. And we have lead the way. This is actually interesting because this isn't referring to you. There's someone who's coming into your life that's going to lead the way. This star, this isn't you. Someone's coming. Again, I keep seeing stuff like that. Anyway, uh, that's there's someone coming to help you with that star energy. Um, it, this is someone who's going to help guide you. And know that that's going to be very helpful for you. We also have clear and activate. Yeah, you're going to want to clear those chakras. I see the root chakra being the most prominent one. But I think the solar and the heart probably as well. Um, with the lead the way, though, I, I don't think these are an... Um, these are not connected. You will be clearing your chakras. I would probably use a stone, uh, grab a stone and just, it's interesting how I see it is grabbing a stone and then pulling stuff out with it. I know it sounds crazy. You know, just pull out the spiritual body, but lead the way someone else is coming. Can I get a clarifier on this? This person, we have the Empress in its reverse. It kind of feels like it could be your mother, but it's someone that is, um, someone that knows 
the situation you're going through and knows how to get there, get out of it. They may not be in the best energy when they pop through in your life. Um, it's interesting. Some of you, it could be someone like, let's say you have a, you're going through a pattern right now in your life. Let's say you have a trouble with love or trouble with life. How did, how are they, how did they handle it? Or let's say how, hmm. Yeah, how they handle it, or maybe um, look at maybe what you would have done differently. It's hard to say. I think this is someone coming into your life because you're in distortion, but it didn't come through like that. This came through as them. I think this person's chasing you, if I'm being honest with you, with the Empress and Zerus. That's chaser energy. They're after you in a good way, all right? Um, and they really want to help. I would open yourself up to that help as well. Really open yourself up to it. Hmm. Sorry, it's like it's a beautiful message. I didn't register that until this moment. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Can you tell me a little bit more um, about this? A little bit more about. Uh, actually, can I get guidance for Capricorn as well? Too. Let's see. We're gonna see what they go. Oh, seven of Cups here. Whew, we have the Seven of Cups coming through. Um, we have the Nine of Cups uh, in its reverse, the King of Swords. I feel here as well with the Seven of Cups. This is about something being overwhelmed with choice. But it's interesting. I think you make the wrong one. <laughs> often i'm mm -hmm. mm, sorry <laughs> i think you make it often wrong and it's not like you're wrong or bad i don't think you're making from a place of love <clears throat> of truth i think you're making from a place of lack i think you're making from a place of fear some of you is maybe anger resentment or betrayal whatever the case is some of these can be quite jaded yeah you're gonna have to make these choices from a place of love or you're gonna keep making a wrong choice with the seven of cups and it's very interesting um it's almost like your choice you're you've made up your mind already um that there could be a self-sabotaging tendency you're doing or you're having i mean everyone but the fact that nine of cups is, re is reversed you may always choose stuff that don't make you happy or doesn't make you happy or will never make you happy and this is probably a person right you may choose the wrong person every time um you have to look at why why do i do that why do i keep repeating that that yeah, that cycle, right? We have uh, the King of Swords and the Eight of Swords here as well. I find it very interesting with the Queen of Swords in its reverse. Um, it's interesting. The Queen of Swords reverse tells me that you are a bit jaded a little bit because this is happening to you a lot. You're not getting why do I make these wrong choices. You really have to look at that. Um, there is a need for you to look deeper at the self. Why do I feel like these are the right choices to make? Or why do I keep making the same type of choices? Maybe why do I keep going back to that same person? Um you are repeating it. I can see it. The first card is the seven of cups. The last card is the eight of swords. And this it's interesting. You keep repeating the same thing that traps you. Um, it's like a puzzle, right? Uh, there is a need for you to look a little bit deeper at that with the eight of swords here. Um, why are you, um, why do you, why are you making it? I want to look a little bit, I want to look a little bit more at this. We have the 10 of wands here. It's ancestral um, patterns and karma. That's uh, for most of you, but it's interesting. I feel it's a bear on your back, right? It's something on your back, something on your shoulders. That's making you do this. I will look a little bit deeper at that. Um, sometimes we can get like, I don't know, stuff from family, um, you know, stuff from friends. You need to maybe want to cleanse your energy field, uh, something like that. But I think this is deeper. I feel like it's more intrinsic to your system, to your energy, to your energy field that's really affecting you. I want to one more clarifier, three of swords here. Um, I think a lot of you, you have a distraction that fills you up enough to make you okay with choosing the wrong path all the time. I will look a little deeper at that. It's not going to be for everyone's message, but let's look at your guidance now. Can I have the guidance, please? Guidance for Capricorn. Know that you are loved, Capricorn, and you are thoroughly appreciated. Um, it's a message that just came through. We have the Ace of Cups in its reverse. I actually find that very interesting. We have the uh, star in its reverse. We also have the five of swords, sorry, five of wands in its upright and the nine. Um, your guidance right now, whew, sorry, I don't know why the ace of cups is there, the queen of swords. All right. Um, your guidance right now is to open up your heart. One of the best ways to open up your heart is finding hope. Um, I actually received this message multiple times. It's such an interesting thing. And there is need for you to look a little bit deeper at um, uh, things that you've achieved already or things that you've gone through. Anytime I've ever feeling like doubt, I'm like, oh, I don't know. Whew. Sorry, sorry. I just got to ask for a clearing again. Anyway, anytime I, I, I receive a lot of doubt or feel a lot of doubt, I feel here. Um, I would use like what I've gone through to help propel me. You need something like that to keep you going. You can't go <laughs> because I see the path ahead of you with the five of wands here, being having a lot of competition, a lot of people there. Um, you're gonna have to fight for it. Actually, it's kind of the message. Um, if you don't feel it's for you, if you're not sure it's for you, you're not going to make it. And we have the nine of wands in this reverse as well. Um, nine of wands is all about surrender, but I feel this is about giving up. I think you may have a tendency to give up 
before you, not before you start, I actually see you starting. So you want to make sure that you're not giving up. And the only way for you not to give up is to hold truth in your heart and for you to be okay with the king of wands here as well. Um, it's interesting. I see this as about a go-getter energy, but what's funny is the Hierophant is not on a good energy. I feel you have a habit of doing what your, um, what your, maybe your family's always done because hair fonts all about beliefs, traditions, and customs. I think you're doing that. Instead, follow your own lead, follow your own spark, follow your own energy and do it that way. That way is going to get you success. That way you're going to actually have, um, Something to look uh, forward to as well. Uh, I just want to pull this. The Ace of Wands are versed as the outcome. This is about a new idea. Um, this, there is an idea that you haven't got yet that's going to start to bloom. This is new inspiration, right, as well. There is a little bit of volatility here at times, but you're going to move through this actually quite fast. The Ace of Wands is reversed because you haven't got it yet. Um, the outcome, if you if you heal and find this truth, is you're going to receive an idea that's going to help you move in that direction. All right. And I want to leave it there. I want to thank you, Capricorn. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like and comment and take care. Bye.